And hello everybody, welcome to today's event here from Oxford Plains Speedway in New England. We're here today for today's running of the TD Bank 250 live here from Oxford Plains Speedway. Tonight, we have race 9 of the 20 year race at season 2 of the NASCAR Gator Mountain National Series. This is race number 9 as we are about to near the halfway point. Not only that, but we are nearing the all-star break, which is coming up right after this race. And there are a couple of drivers trying to get a win locked in before the all-star break. On pole for today's event is going to be the five car, Zachary Robinson, who's had a lot of mixed success. Um, uh, has got, I'd say, from solid qualifying runs, but not very good finishes on track. Looking for a good run today. Across from him... Drivers. Start your engine! There's the man. Across from him, definitely is the hottest driver on track right now. That's Gilbert Cockfoster. He's very consistent. Third, Kyle Anderson. Fourth, Donovan Up Dyke. Fifth, I believe that's going to be the double zero, Jamie Pentor. Sixth, Alex Hawkins. Seventh, Jordan Colt. Eighth, Eric and Rage. Ninth, Andy Thomas. And tenth, will be RJ Bishop. Real briefly, here's the starting grid on the left side of your screen. You can look through it and find your drive, favorite driver's name. This is a very short track with space cars already going down pit road. Green flag is waving. We are underway here today at Oxford Plains. 50 laps of racing we're going to have here today. And this should be an interesting one as we're already having drivers fighting and going to the wall. Ooh, Gilbert Cockfoster is dumped. And we've got a caution. First lap, we've already got a caution. Gilbert Cockfoster is into the Oh, and Kyle Keith spinning. Just Vanesto. A lot of drivers involved. Two wrecks, one caution. How about that? This is going to take a while to go. reasons as drivers are now gonna go down to the pits it looks like these pits are all the way back here it's a very interesting setup for the pits if you did not know here at Oxford Plains and looks like Jordan Culp will be the first one off of pit road we're gonna go to the spectator view I think this is a not a very bad view we got for our cameras here today Jordan Culp is going to be the first off of pit road as we're going to take quite a few caution laps here. Jordan Colt will be first. Uh, oh, just letting you know the 15, the 81, and the 73 have all retired due to accidents. That's here Taylor Tang and Cockfosters. Cockfosters slipping quickly. He's going to have to speed up if he wants to get back in the pace of things. The uh, 26 of Colt will be your leader. Following him will be Zachary Robinson. And then you'll have Donovan Updike, Jamie Pentor. Eric Steinmetz, Alex Hawkins, Jacob Crago, Kyle Anderson, Ryan Wilson, and Henry F. Fitzwater round up your top 10. And then you will have Eric and Rage, RJ Bishop, Annie Thomas, PJ Williams, Cody Lamas, Kane Gill, and then you got some other drivers now going to come off pit road. I think Sean Harple is going to file in in the 17th spot. Okay, never mind, it'll be Mattias Paiva, will be 17th, Harple 18th, and Asha Michaels 19th. Jed 10's coming around, he'll, looks like he'll restart 20th. Skirvin is slow, Cal Keith will be 21st, most likely. And there's the pace car. Okay, looks like Chris Washer, somehow, he's gonna be called out, and it was gonna be called as the first person off of the road, so he, for some reason, is gonna be our leader. As I believe it was Jordan Colt that is being called the leader. What's Nick Pericles doing? Nick Pericles is just sort of doing, going on his own. Okay, now I see. We are going to form two lines here. We're going to go two wide at the start. 
even though Kate Skirvin is blocking Culp. This should be an interesting start. As the pace car, gonna come down here as we're gonna get started on lap number eight of 50. Green flag is in the air. We're back underway here in the TD Bank 250. As already, we got cars sliding around. Whoa, we got a big one. Kate Skirvin up into the dirt. Chris Washer involved. Wow, caution already. Can't even start a lap and these guys are flying. And this is one dangerous track here, folks. A lot of cautions. And this is a race that's definitely going to be one on pit road. I believe Donovan Updike is going to be called as your leader as we can't even complete a lap without people wrecking. So this is very interesting here. Very unique track we've got here today up in this New England area and it looks like everybody's going to go down. A lot of people are going to go down and take their chances on pit road. Let's go on board on that back for his stop. Very nice, very easy for that 46 car. The question now becomes, will be the first one off? Looks like that will be the case. That's not going to be the way. But however, because of the turn of events, he will not be your race leader, I don't believe so. Unless those cars are all a lap down, therefore, he might be a race leader. And it looks like he will be, as all those cars going to go down now. So Updike will lead the field here. So Updike will be your leader here today at Oxford Plains. He'll be followed by Alex Hawkins, and it'll be um, the five of Zachary Robinson, Kyle Anderson fourth, Ryan Wilson fifth, Eric Steinmetz sixth, Eric and Rage seventh, RJ Bishop eighth, Cody Lovis ninth, and Joshua Michael sliding in their tenth. I'm not sure if that's his spot or that'll be Jimmy Pintor. Andy Thomas eleventh, Nick Perigles twelfth, Kane Gill thirteenth, PJ Williams fourteenth, Henry F. Fitzwater fifteenth, Jed Tim sixteenth, Stone Harbor seventeenth, Maggie Spivey eighteenth, Chris Washer nineteenth, Kate Skirvin twentieth, Kyle Keith twenty first. Looks like some more guys are going to come off the road here in a minute. Uh, so far, the 26 of Jordan Colt, the 62 of Joseph Vanessa, the 15 of Darian Taylor, the 81 of Jackie Tang, and the 73 of Gilbert Cockfosters are the are the five that have retired from today's race. This is a unique event we've got going on here today. Two cautions already, and we got one to go here. So it should be interesting trying to see. Okay, it looks like Michaels, Heracles, Washer, Skirvin. Looks like those drivers uh, are now going to drive up, and they are, those four are going to be a lap down. The rest of them, however, are on the lead lap. As the base car are going to come down to the inner lane now, and Updike, alongside the lap down car, Michaels, will lead us to green this time by. Green flag is waving. The TD Bank 250 is back green. Let's see who's going to wreck this time. Who's going to be first? And it's Kyle Keith. Into the wall. Ooh, Donovan Updike into the wall. He's already... He's, he drove off the course. I don't even know where he is. There's Joshua Michaels off. Ryan Wilson. Oh, my. Talk about wreckage quickly. They, this is way too many drivers for this track. A lot of drivers having to dart down pit road quickly. Hope some guys are okay. Ooh, that's the 46 of Updike back there. I don't think he's okay, folks. He's going to have to go back. So Alex Hawkins is now your new leader. And he will not he will not pit. He's going to stay out. So Hawkins will be your leader next time by, as far as I understand. Because Washer is a lap down. So it'll be Hosh, Hawkins, followed by Robinson, Anderson, and Rage. 
um, Steinmetz, Lamas, Bishop, Pintor, Thomas, and Williams. That's your top ten. Then you have Fitzwater, Timms, um, Gill, Harple, Crago, Paiva, um, Michaels, and Gill. So, these guys are not going to make the trip down pit lane. Now we have some more retirees. The 83 of Kyle Keith, the 46 of Donovan Updike, and the 88 of Ryan Wilson are now all being called out of today's event. Which you may get for some interesting laps here. As we're already on lap number 17 of 50. Only down to 20 more 20 cars currently running on track. Which would still make it interesting to see who will last. This has been fun to watch, folks. A lot of wreckage, a lot of mayhem, a lot of debris. And it's... We haven't even gotten halfway yet. We're probably going to see another caution, as we've already seen three. Let's see if we can get one more as we're probably going to get one to go here next time by. We already went through the running order for you, so nothing has changed there. Yep, as Washer's now going to move inside, we're getting one to go. So, Washer, Skirvin. Let's see who else is being called a lap down as they drive to the inside line. Michaels is one. And that's all. So, Michael, Skirvin, and Washer, those three cars are all lapped down. The rest of the field is fair game. So that would make it Hawkins, Robinson, Anderson, and Rage, and Steinmetz are your top five at the moment. Green flag is waving. Hawkins getting a big jump there. I think it's going to be too quick. Chris Washer around. He's spinning quick. Caution is out. I think he's the only one with damage. Oh, no! Zachary Robinson! Can't tell who else that is. I think that's Kyle Anderson. I think that's Jed Thames also involved. No, nope, Jed Thames is riding fine. I don't know exactly what happened. But Alex Hawkins is going to stay your leader throughout the whole mess that just happened there. Hawk did Hawkins just get driven through? That was weird. So, somehow, through the shuffling, Alex Hawkins is going to stay your leader here today at Oxford Plains. As, let's see if he's going to make the trip down pit road this time around, or will he stay out? Steinmetz is going to go. Some drivers will go, some drivers are going to stay. Nonetheless, Hawkins will be your leader as he's going to be followed by Eric and Rage on the restart this time as Robinson wrecked his car. So he's pretty well done. Joshua Michaels right there, who's next to Hawkins, he um, is a lap down, so that's not going to be any good for him. So Hawkins will be your leader. Joshua Michaels is a lap down. Then you have Eric and Rage second, Cody Lamas third, RJ Bishop fourth, Jamie Pintor fifth, P.J. Williams, 6th, Henrietta Fitzwater, 7th, Kane Gill, 8th, Jed Timms, 9th, and P Sean Harville will be 10th. Jacob Crago will run 11th, Matisse Paiva, 12th, the 6th of Nick Pericles, 13th, the 1 of Chris Washer, 14th, Eric Steinmetz will be 15th, and Annie Thomas will be 16th. And then Joshua Michaels, he just went down pit road, so he'll probably restart 17th. As the 99 of Anderson, the 5 of Robinson, and the 8 of Kate Skirvin have all officially retired from today's race. This should be a fun one to watch here, folks, as we are in the closing stages of tonight's event. As we are actually not in the closing stages, my apologies, we are just getting halfway, which means the action has just begun. As the cars get become less and less, we are going to see more actual racing because there won't be as much danger involved in tonight's running as only two cars are a lap down at the moment. Those would be the one of Chris Washer and the 04 of Joshua Michaels, which means this should be some fun racing once we get down to about lap 30 or 40 to where we have less cars on track 
racing, we're going to see less debris and less damage. As most likely here, we're going to get the one to go signal on the pace car. Change, you're going to start seeing cars. Yep, one to go. Change, you're going to start seeing cars move to the inside line. Those would be the 04 and the 1, of course. Yep, there they go. The one's actually in front of the 04, my bad. This should be fun. As we are now halfway, we're going to get restarted. Lap Brown, lap 26. We have yet to have a stint longer than a single lap here today at Oxford Plains. Nonetheless, we have yet to go an entire lap under green. So this should be fun to see if we can actually pull it off. As the base car now going into the infield, it'll be Hawkins and Enrage. Green flag. Is anybody going to wreck? Michael's around. Cody Lamas in the grass. Other than that, it looks like we're good. Caution back out. Oh, Eric and Rage. Alex Hawkins batting for the lead. They're both around. Not good. Caution back out. And a lot of carnage here. Who's going to be your leader? As the pace car is now pushing and driving through the one of Chris Washer. Someone's getting uh, back there. That was the 04. Who's this? That would be the 9 of Lamas. So this should be interesting to see. The 33 of Eric and Rage is being called the leader somehow. So you might see some more drivers go down pit road now that we've run a lot of laps here. Or we might see them stay out. Who knows what we're going to see. Like I said, you can see anything at this track. If they would have pitted, they probably would have pitted last lap, which means most likely we are going to stay just the way we are. So, as now we're on lap 29 of 50, let's see if any cars decide to commit this time. I don't think they will. Nobody's going to go down. So Eric and Rage will be your leader when we restart. Chris Washer's a lot down. Then you'll have Alex Hawkins second, Jamie Fentor third, RJ Bishop fourth, PJ Williams fifth, Henrietta Fitzwater sixth, Kane Gill seventh, Jed Timms eighth, Sean Harville ninth, and Nick Pericles tenth. Matty's Paiva eleventh, Jacob Craig twelfth, Andy Thomas thirteenth, and Eric Simons fourteenth. Some drivers are going down pit road. Um... The nine, and the 9 has also been added to the outpost of today's race, leaving only 16 cars currently on track. The 04 and the 1 are both one lap down, as we're probably going to need two more laps before we get back to green flag racing. We'll probably get started around lap 32 of 50 here today at Oxford Plains Speedway in Maine. It should be a fun finish here, folks. A lot of drivers out of the race. Almost half the field is done. I'd say at least a third. As the 04 now trying to get back around. As it's going to now move inside. Along with the 1 of Chris Washer. As we are probably going to get the 1 to go signal this time from that Pontiac. That's leading the field. Yes we will. The 1 is now going to move inside. We're 1 to go. This should be fun. We have, one, we have when we get back to green we will have 19. 18 laps I'm about to go, 18 here to go that is, at this track here in Oxford Plains. It should be a fun one. Pace car, heading inside, in rage, Hawkins, Pentor, Bishop, Williams will be your top fives. We go back green. Green flag is out. The TD Bank 250 is back green. Will anybody wreck? We're single file. We're clean. Eric and Rage leads the first lap. Oh, there we go. Jamie Pendor around, Mattias Paiva around, Eric Steinmetz around, caution back out, two drivers down pit road. Caution back out, we made it up, Alex Hawkins around, PJ Williams around, RJ Bishop saves it, Jamie Pendor back into the grass. Caution is out, Eric and Rage somehow stayed clean through all of that havoc as he will remain your leader. 
this has been one interesting one here, folks, as we're probably going to see some more pit stops here. The driver's now coming around. Wow. Talk about interesting. Now that we're a bit organized, we should see some more running here. As these drivers will now all head down pit road. There's some good shots of the pit lane. Ooh, Eric and Rage sliding off. Who's gonna get off first? Eric and Rage will. Eric and Rage will be off first, followed by. I believe that's the six of Pericles that just got off behind him. Michaels is in front of him. He's a lap down. So this has been interesting. Michael's now going to head down the pit lane. Oh man, well, a lot of drivers out of the race now added to this list. Besides Michael Seuss, two laps down, Chris Washer, Matty Spaiba, Alex Hawkins, PJ Williams, Eric Steinmetz, RJ Bishop, and Jamie Pintor. All out of this race. Technically meaning we only have eight cars on the lead lap, nine left running. If Joshua Michaels is a retired when he went back last time, if he's still going to run, that is. Those eight cars are as follows. Eric Rage, who's going to be your leader. Kane Gill, Nick Pericles, the 47 of Andy Thomas, the 22 of Jed Timms, the 59 of Jacob Crago, the 39 of Sean Harple, and the 0 of Henrietta Fitzwater. There's Joshua Michaels. He's the ninth car. He's going to come back on trap with two laps down against him, which is going to be hard to overcome. It should be a fun run to the finish here. We might possibly be able to have a green flag stint if these drivers can stay safe. We may also have a situation where only, we're less than this nine driver pack finish the event as we are only one lap to go before getting back under green. I have not seen the 04. I believe it might have gone back to the back stretch. It's still being called as three laps down, which means that, yep, it did go back to pit lane. I believe he just got called speeding on pit lane. That's why it went back out there, but he's going to have to hustle back around as the pace car hitting the infield. It will be enraged. Pericles, Gill, and Thomas. Green flag back out here today at Oxford Plains. Eight cars. Jed Tim is falling back. Is it going to be a wreck though? No, we are green. Eric and Rage leads the first time back around. Andy Thomas around. Kane Gill. Oh, now Sean Harple around. There's Kane Gill. There's Sean Harple. We may just be down to six cars, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, just like that. We've just changed the fate of this race. How about that? Wow. So those eight cars are going to stay the same. It looks like I don't think anybody's gone back to the garage, except for Michaels, who's still back there, trying to get some of that hairs done. There he is coming back out again. I believe Gill went back to the pit area, and the, Gil, and the, eight, and the 16 of Gill has now retired, officially. So these drivers are now going to take one last trip down pit road. Hopefully this will be their last one. I think Fitzwater just, oh, nope, Fitzwater's still out front. Will Fitzwater be the first one off? Nope, I believe it was in Rage. So in, was it Rage the first one off? Looks like in Rage might have been beat off. Yes, in Rage was beat off by the 59 of Jacob Crago. Jacob Crago, he may have just hopped in this 59 car back at... Um, Talladega. However, he is not a rookie. In fact, he has a win all the way back at Orlando International Speedway back in race number four of season one. So, Craigo has some winning experience. So, maybe 
through all the mess he's been through, he can finally end up back in victory lane. Maybe, just maybe. We'll have to see. As we are down to seven. That's the magic number here today at Oxford Plains. Jacob Prego will be your leader. Nick Pericles second. Annie Thomas third. Sean Harville fourth. Eric and Rage fifth. Henrietta Fitzwater sixth. And Jed Timms will be seventh on the restart. As we are probably going to have two to go. Josh and Michaels is still trying to run. However, he keeps getting called back and forth to pit road because of speeding problems and issues with that number 04 car. Things have not been well all season with that car. He's going to have... He's, there's no way he's going to be able to finish this race on the lead lap. 44.50 completed here today. We're probably going to get started around lap 46, which means we are possibly going to have a five to go stint. Which means if a caution comes out one more time, this race is over. Seven cars are going to finish this race, folks, on the lead lap. This is like an all-star race. Only the best of the best are going to finish on the lead lap here. The question is, who will those be? Will it be Crago, Pericles, Thomas, Harpel, and Rage, Fitzwater, or Thames winning today's event here today at Oxford Plains? The pace car going to hit the infield probably one last time. Crago, Pericles, Thomas, Harpel, and Rage, Fitzwater, Thames. Green flag back out in the TD Bank 250. Let's try it one last time. Will somebody wreck? We're still green. We're still good here, folks. Jacob Crago down pit road. Don't know why. Any Thomas, your leader. Oh, Andy Thomas almost got turned around there. And Rage back out front. Williams down pit road. Still green. Two to go. We're going to finish this one under green, folks, it looks like. Just maybe. And Rage out front. Pericles down pit road. This is going to be a fun one to the finish. Eric and Rage is your leader. White flag out for Eric and Rage. Will we finish this one? It looks like we will. Thomas down pit road. You're still green. The white flag is waving. Now the checkered flag is going to wave. Eric and Rage gets his first career win at Oxford Plains and wins the TD Bank 250. Wow. Talk about a race, folks. That was one heck of an event. Joshua Michaels having issues. All sorts of drivers having a lot of issues here tonight at Oxford Plains. Well, how about that, folks? Finish, folks. Great run from a lot of our drivers here today at Oxford Plains. Let's get you our official finishing results. How about th that? Take a minute to examine the left side of your screen. How many times do you see the word retired on there? Our winner even is being called as retired. That's Eric and Rage. He's going to win this one here today. Henry and Fitzwater, second. Jed Timms, third. Andy Thomas, fourth. Nick Pericles, fifth. Sean Harple, sixth. Jacob Craig, seventh. Kane Gill, eighth. Joshua Michaels, ninth. And then take your pick with 10th through 28th with Ped Tor, Bishop, Steinmetz, Williams, Hawkins, Paiva, Washer, Lamas, Anderson, Robinson, Skirvin, Wilson, Updike, Keith, Colt, Anesta, Taylor, Tang, Cockfosters. All those drivers have retired here, folks, for accident or different reasons. They are out of this race. Thanks for watching here, folks. Starting next week, all right, let's give you a little bit of update on how this channel is going to go for the next few races. Next race, next thing uploaded to my channel will be one of two things. One, it'll be the power rankings, or two, depending on how many people I can get, get some more information out there in the Steak and Shake Cup series. Real quick before I go into the All-Star Race info, Steak and Shake Cup series setups are open. I only have six slots or driver slots taken, only four owner slots taken. Looking for some more, looking for some more owners in that series, so if you are interested... Let me know and get in, get commenting on that video. Secondly, All Star Race is upon us after this after the Power Rankings video. That is, if you have a win from season one or this season, and even if you are out of the series, you are and going to be in that race. If you ran in the Gander Shootout, you are going to be using that car 
that you ran in the shootout with. Um, Joshua Blackheart, you're going to be hopping in the 8 car, in for Kate Skirvin, who was not in that race. So Joshua Blackheart, you're going to be in this race. And all the other drivers from last season that qualified, you're going to be in an additional ride. That entry list will be at the end of this video. Uh, first, we'll also have a we also have a Gander Showdown. That Gander Showdown will be the drivers in the series this season that um, did not and have not um, won. So anybody that has not won since last year and is not eligible for the race will be in that race. I believe looking at the list here, I'm going to list off those drivers. Technically, I'm going to make and make an exception. Henrietta Fitzwater is going to get in into the All Star race automatically because she is the champion. So, Henry and Fitzwater, congratulations, you're in. Um, Jed Timms is going to be in the showdown, along with Annie Thomas, Nick Pericles. Um, Kane Gill, no, Kane Gill did win. Um, Joshua Michaels, you'll be in the showdown. RJ Bishop will be in the showdown. Eric Steinmetz will be in the showdown. Um, just scrolling through here. Uh, not a lot of Cody Lamas will be in the showdown. Kyle Anderson, Zachary Robinson, Kate Skirvin. Uh, Ted, nope, yep, Ryan Wilson actually will be in the showdown, believe it or not. Kyle Keith will as well, along with Jordan Colt, Joe Spinesto, and nope, Darian Taylor won at Eldora. He's good. Um, Jackie Tang, nope, he has a win. So I believe it's going to be a small field, about six or seven, but those drivers will be in the showdown. All right, so I believe I have given you all the information I need for the moment. So thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Remember, next up is the All-Star Race at Zenjoltis. Following that race will be the great race that everybody loves watching, the American Airlines 300 from Zenjoltis. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check us out. Here come your points and what's coming up next and your entry list for the All-Star Race. Thanks for watching.